The Fort Smith Trolley Museum asking for your help after the roof was ripped off the museum a few days ago following a huge storm. 5 News reporter Catherine Gilker shows us the damage and what it's going to take to get it fixed. I was surprised to find it, find out about it. I, one of our volunteers uh, drove down this way and saw it and he called and told me. And uh, what he told me, I wasn't quite sure. And I was afraid that it was a whole lot worse than what it was. Here's surveillance video from inside the Trolley Museum's gift shop from early Friday morning when the roof was ripped off by a strong storm. The archives and library, which are in the other end of the building, weren't damaged at all. So most of what was done can be replaced or repaired, where the other end you couldn't have replaced it or repaired it. So far, volunteers have come out to help put tarps over the damaged roof, clean the carpets, and they've salvaged as much as they can from the gift shop. Now they're just waiting on the insurance adjuster to come out and assess the damage so they can permanently fix the roof. President of the Trolley Museum, Bradley Martin, says among those items in their gift shop were around $25,000 worth of John Bell Jr. prints. He says they are still working on a full inventory. They start out at about $125 a piece and go up to about $200. Hopefully insurance will take care of it on the contents damage, except that we only have $20,000 contents, so we may be a little short. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. If you would like to help them cover the cost, you can donate to the Trolley Museum's website. We also have a link on our website, 5newsonline.com, and so far they've raised about $1,400.